outdoor trampoline parks have expanded in recent years. They're a really popular place for families to get, take their kids. But one family is warning about the dangers of these so-called fun zones after their three-year-old broke bones jumping on one of those trampolines. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Liz Lewin live for us in the newsroom with more on the dangers here at these parks, Liz. Good morning, Ed and Katie. An important warning for parents this morning, whether you own a trampoline at home or your kids enjoy going to one of those indoor trampoline parks. Experts now say recreational trampolines are no place for young kids, especially toddlers. Now, this is three-year-old Colton Hill in a body cast. Colton's mother, Caitlin, says her son broke his femur last month while jumping on a trampoline at an indoor park in Tampa, a park she says promoted the use by toddlers, despite recommendations from medical experts. The Consumer Product Safety Commission estimates that in 2015, over 100,000 people were treated in the emergency room for trampoline-related injuries. The commission also found that from 2009 to 2013, 21 people died from similar injuries. And if you're wondering just how popular these trampoline parks are, well, the International Association of Trampoline Parks estimates the number of parks in the U.S. has grown from 35 to over 600 within the past five years alone. Now, Colton's mom, Caitlin Hill, is a nurse, and she says since her son's injury, she's taken to Facebook for a plea to let parents know potential dangers. We're going to let you hear from her next. For now, we're in the newsroom. Liz Lewin, 7 Eyewitness News. Yes, yeah, some real important parent mm -hmm. information this morning, Liz. Thank you very much. Have